Welcome back to my channel. Um, I've been reading comments from the caramel video. I know there are a lot of y'all who are disappointed that you're not seeing Zeus's face. Um, the decision was mine to not show his identity. And the reason being, and most all of my subscribers know, that I have been stalked, harassed, bullied, threatened. I had to move from New Jersey. Uh, I have to protect my own privacy, and I am not going to let Mr. Phillips' privacy be invaded by stalkers and harassers. Um, I went through this with Marie Galloway with the Scarfy Company. Uh, her life was tumbled upside down, and she still supports me, and she still has a box of Scarfies on the way for me. So we're going to fight this battle, and we're going to win it. But in the meantime, I am not going to let this wonderful man over here who drove all the way across the country to come into my kitchen here in his mother's home to demonstrate how to make candy. And this video is to show y'all how you can make this wonderful, awesome candy in small batches at an affordable price. Um, Mr. Phillips did this out of the goodness of his heart. He's not charging me a dime for it. He bought me a brand new uh, Hewlett Packard laptop this morning. Uh, he brought all the supplies, all the food, all the ingredients to make this candy. And uh, I'm not going to have him go back to his candy headquarters and um, have to deal with a bunch of crazy people stalking and harassing him. It's not going to happen. So his face is not going to be shown. And um, if you don't understand that, then I'm, I'm sorry. We're back. We are. <laughs> we sure. Uh, I, I want to take our apples and pour them into hot water uh, so we can have them ready to go by tomorrow. Why, why are you cooking the apples first? Well, why not? <laughs> no. It takes off the uh, wax oh, uh, okay. from, the, from the company who, who made the apples. These are not uh, uh, picked fresh from the tree. Linda. These are Wally World apples. So I'm sure they have lots of wax on them. And it also helps with keeping them for about uh, two, three weeks. Oh, so you're just kind of blanching them? Yeah, we're just pot okay. boiling them, and then that's it. Mm, yeah, look at the caramel. So we'll be ready for mm, tomorrow mm. with those. <coughs> Bowl of cold water. There we go. And Glenda, you, you said you prepared the apples. You've got to take off this little stem. Oh, I, I took the stickers off because I didn't want them to be... Remember the girl that I was in the drug rehab with? Yes, yes. What was I her name? Skittles. No. <laughs> I don't know. What was it? Peggy. Peggy, okay. She made a fruit salad, and <laughs> all the little pieces of fruit had the the tags on, still tags. Oh, tags yes, still I remember. On. Yes, yes, I remember. <laughs> oh, so we had a paper fruit salad. <laughs> okay, so that is done. Okay. And, uh, we've got it uh, almost at a boil. We're stirring this until we can uh, dissolve all the ice, uh, all the sugar crystals. So it's still going to be a little while, but we've got to get some other things ready. So I'm going to come over here, and to that we're going to add uh, four tablespoons of uh, butter. We're just going to get this ready. We're not going to do... Uh, we're not going to add this yet. Four, four tablespoons would be a half a stick, right? That is right. And again, are we using Chad's? We're using Chad's knife. We sure are. <laughs> awesome. Apples. Excuse me, Brenda. Could you move those tongs? They're in my way. Of course. Thank you. Okay, so now we've got it boiling. Not really rapid boiling. It's still on medium heat. So it, do, you, do you have to use the candy thermometer? Today? Yes, yes we do. Now this we've got to cook to about uh, uh, roughly about 300 degrees. Okay. But the problem is a lot of recipes online will tell you once you dissolve your sugar crystals to add your nuts. And I, I just don't think so. I think when it gets to about 220, 240 degrees, then you can add your nuts. Because they just turn to brown and get burnt. I don't like burnt nuts. <laughs> Neither do I. 
No, and we're <laughs> using cashews. We've roasted and salted our own cashews, so they're roasted already. Okay. See how clear that's gotten, Glenda? Oh, wow. Yes. That was like a miracle. Yes. Just uh, all the... Uh, all the ice crystals have actually they've They're dissolved. not ice crystals. I mean, I. It's well, it depends who's cooking. I guess <laughs> if it's if it's Vivian, it could be ice crystals. <laughs> no, seriously, uh, this is sugar crystals. Okay. Okay. So let me just see what. Uh, Brenda, have you seen my thermometer? Here it is. I found it. Okay, so, we've still got quite a ways to go. This is actually going to uh, caramelize. So why don't we come back when we get closer? How does that sound? You're the expert. Okay, we're adding the butter here because it is, uh, there we go. You gotta hurry, hurry. Gotta hurry with this. We're stirring in the butter. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's smoking. That's why my phone is over here. It eating. is, and now my the phone is cooking. Now look at that wonderful. Here we go with the baking soda. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Oh, look at how it changed color. It sure is. Glenda, out of the way. I don't want to burn you for God's sake. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> If we could only be on television. So now we're just pouring this right onto oh, that butter wow, cookie hurry, sheet. Ooh, hurry. yes. Here we go. Ooh, it's already starting to harden, but that's what we want. It's okay. not going to turn to sugar, is it? Oh, no, no. Of course oh, not. Oh, I hate Linda. it when my candy turns to sugar. No, no, Spread no. It. Hurry, hurry. Oh, we don't have to worry about this. Oh, candy. okay. No, no, oh, it no. doesn't have to be perfect. That's right. No, I told your folks we were going to have paper thin. Paper it's thin. not paper thin. It, it it's gobbed up. It will be. Don't you worry about it. All right. So we need to give it about two minutes, two or three minutes rest before it hardens, and then we'll be back. Okay. The rumble now, and uh, we have on rubber gloves. Not our food-grade gloves, but they'll still be fine. They're just plain rubber gloves. You're going to rumble? What? You said you're going to rumble? No. Now listen, it's very important that we spread this out just like we're doing here. It's a little bit still hot, but it's still fine. And now what we're going to do is, if it'll come out here, it's very hot still, we're just going to pour it. There we go. Oh, wow, wow. Now, pulled. is this the same concept that you're going to use whenever you make my pulled taffy? Somewhat. It's not quite like this. We actually will use a, we'll use a, a machine hook to do most of the taffy pulling. But it'll still be done by hand. Well, I did not know that you could pull peanut, peanut brittle like that. Apparently, not a lot of people can, but it's going to be so tender. It'll melt in your mouth. None of this hard granny, uh, granny made break your teeth, teeth brittle. Yeah, it was. And uh, everybody out there, we have pulled this uh, cashew brittle, and it is so soft and tender, fairies could eat this cashew brittle. Try that, Glenda. Mm -mm. We didn't get all of it paper thin, but we sure did well. Look at mm. that. That's just amazing. Oh. Now, when we're now, like I said, we use cashew brittle uh, cashews for this, but you could use pecans, you could use peanut peanuts, whatever kind of nuts you want. Mm, it is so delicious. So once we break this up, and it doesn't take a whole lot of time or effort to break this. Look at how thin this part is. Look at this. This is amazing. Okay, so how do you package it and sell it? Do you put it in a, in a box? Sometimes I see peanut brittle in the This will box. go in a 25-pound box of a cashew brittle. That's how we sell it. But for the folks at home, they're going to put it on a tray or something. Look at this. Look mm -hmm. how thin that is. That's just amazing. And it's, look, so tender. Mm. Um, they can put it on a tray or a plate and put it into a, a large Ziploc bag. No air at it. And for Christmas, you could store it in 
You could store one in a tin, a yeah. tin can, a piece of parchment paper, a wax paper, mm -hmm. or, or something like that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. You could almost see through that peanut wow. brittle. Oops. What? <laughs> I guess something for the the mice. Do you have a mice? No, no, <laughs> no I don't think your mother here? would. Um. No, she has an, ex <laughs> she has an exterminator every mm. month, just in case. Uh, now, the pot is going to mm. be... Oh, my God, this is so good, y'all. The pot is going to be uh, a real pain in the keister to uh, clean, so we're just going to boil away all the, oh, I see. all the sugar. Very good, yes? I can't talk for eating. Glenda, that is a huge piece of cashew brittle. Don't tell anybody. Okay, I won't. See it. <laughs> I won't. Okay, so are you going to coat the apples tonight? No, we're not. We're going to do that tomorrow. Uh, we're going to do our, tour, um, our pecan uh, clusters tomorrow. And we will also do our fudge tomorrow with the giveaways. And once again, thank you everybody for uh, viewing our, our little videos, including the little monkeys out there. Woohoo! Yes, yes, there I go. I'm having so much fun. But seriously, folks, it's been a it's a fun evening, mm. and uh, I hope everybody has uh, a good time with what we do. So I'm sure this will turn out just fine. And uh, let us know how it goes for you, Glenda. Will uh, you'll put in the description? The recipe. The recipes yes. for you, mm -hmm. yes. I know mm -hmm. we went a little fast tonight, but we are stretched on time. So uh, <coughs> we want to get as much purpose and mm -hmm. stuff out of every minute we can. So from well. our kitchen to yours. <laughs> Thank you so much, Suze. I, I appreciate this collaboration with you. And um, can't wait, wait until we can do more with the saltwater taffy. And hopefully the we can get that taffy up and going. We'll give, uh, the saltwater taffy tomorrow will give... Uh, an update on that, but I said that we'd hopefully be done by Christmas time and get it into the stores, and I'm certainly hoping we can do it. But okay, um, we've just finished our test sample, so alrighty, we'll see what happens. Well, thank you guys for coming along with us on this candy making. Um, Would you like ooh, to come over and have some cashew <laughs> brittle? You're take not going to eat all that tonight. No, take that upstairs to your mom. All right. Okay, I just want to thank y'all for being here, and I want you to know how much I love you. And uh, Zeus and I will be doing a live stream tomorrow night. Sometime tomorrow. 7.30. 7.30? Yes, 7.30, okay. yep. So um, um, we'll see y'all then. Thank Good you night, so much. Good night, everybody. It's been fun. <laughs> and y'all just keep on coming back. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.